وَمَنْ أَحْسَنُ قَوْلًا Okay, so in second, in chapter 22, verse 2 of Second Chronicles, Isaiah was 42 years old when he became king and he reigned one year in Jerusalem. His mother's name is Athaliah, the granddaughter of Umbi. Is that correct? Yeah, and then somewhere else it's recorded differently. I agree with you 100%. Okay. You don't have you to, to read it. No, you don't have to. I know the text. Well, what, what's the other one? So, so what's the, the, other the, one? the age is recorded differently. What's the other verse? You said you know it. <laughs> no, I'm telling you the age is recorded differently and okay. the context is differently. So right. what? So, Why is it? so let me. I'm, I agree with you. Let but there's me, contradictions in the Bible. No, no, no. no. There are no contradictions in the Bible. Read again. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Absolutely, Absolutely none. Read again. Read again. No contradictions. Absolutely none. 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 But it depends on how I'm listening. It depends on how you, how you define who God is. Okay. Right? So he's not limited to our limitations. Gotcha. So when he speaks, remember his holy imperfection, righteous imperfection, he cannot lie. Holy imperfection? Right. So it tells us now that holy men write, wrote as they were moved by their own muscles because they went to the gym seven days a week. Because they, they could the lift up a lorry. Because week? of their intellect and their brain. No. When they were moved by the spirit of the almighty God, the creator. Preacher mode. So the author of the word is God himself. He's okay. not a liar. Okay. Right? So this okay. is why you have revelation prophecy. Right? Prophecy did not come by the will of your intellect, your acumen, your brain, your sinful fallen nature. You are dead in transgression, trust in the sin. So it says holy men wrote. How did they become holy? How does somebody on earth become holy? You I'm, answer that question. I'm letting you speak first. You answer that question. I mean, you deal with the man's question now. about the Bible. Yeah, 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 the first. That's not a problem. No. So, hang on, hang on. Deal with the man's question about the Thank Bible. You. He asked, why is it you, you, mixed up? You, you said. That's, that's, you, that's according you, to you. Cool, boss. That's cool, according to you. Cool, cool, down. Calm down. Spirit of Spirit of Listen, right? you know all these cameras were out or whatever. We're going to take out 50 pounds, you know. Right? And PM me. See, see, because you have to learn some things in there. That's what it's all about, the money. Right? No, it's not about the money. Right, but we know that we do things for money. Second Kings, chapter 8, 26. Isaiah was 22 years old when he became king. He reigned one year in Jerusalem. His mother's name was Ataliyah, the granddaughter of Homer. Right? Now, because you said there are no contradictions in the Bible. Absolutely none. And you said that God doesn't lie. He doesn't make mistakes. No, he doesn't. So... In Second Chronicles yeah. 22.2, Isaiah was 42 years old when he became king and reigned one year in Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. How could he be 42 and 22? Right. What gives the appearance as a contradiction mm -hmm. or presents itself as a contradiction, like a contradiction is not a contradiction. It looks yeah, like yeah, according it? to you. I'm listening. How is it right. not a contradiction? So let me ask you a question. Answer the question. I'm answering it. What is the limit? It's, it's, it's not an open and close question. It's not an open and close question. Let me help you, my brother. Let me help you, my brother. The camera on. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let me help you, my brother. Let me help you, my brother. I know you guys think Jesus I'm on my way, I'm on my way somewhere else. I don't even know these people. One of you, one of you speak at a time. I don't even know these two gentlemen. I'm on my way somewhere. I'll let him answer and I'll answer. I saw you all rushing over here and I thought, what is this? It's not a rush, it's just a question. Peacefully, relaxed. Go ahead. So here's the answer. I'm all you. We know that things were translated from from Hebrew to Greek yes. to different things. Yes. Okay? But well, New Testament was not in Hebrew. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. We know that Shatan, the devil, the deceiver, Shaitan. is amongst the people and he's there. Good. And we know that his job is to confuse the people and direct the people wrong there and, and, and cause confusion and something evil and something wrong so that, so that people can be diverted from where they're supposed to be. Because the devil is not sleeping. He has never been sleeping. Okay? So. How are we going to know the true, absolute truth if the devil is there confusing people? This is the key. 
There's two complete keys for you to be able to see the truth clearly and hear the truth clearly. Listen. The first is that you have to be sincere, but that is not the most important because you can be sincerely wrong. The second is your motive must be correct. Your motive for what are you doing, what you, why are you looking for that, what are you doing? If those two things are not in place, the devil will mess you around all your life and you'll never see clearly. See that! Amen. So the point is that, the point is that, the point is that, the point is that yeah? The devil is dead. Now let me ask you this. I'm just gonna, just gonna ask you something now. Watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. Answer this question first. <laughs> well, that is the answer. Well, that is the answer. I tried to show you that the the, 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 the misunderstanding is what might seem like contradiction is because the the translations that have happened the devil. Listen Jesus. my friend, listen my friend, the translations that have happened and the way the devil was able to to see man and fool man and make man talk nonsense. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 he has used he has used manipulation with languages and words to confuse the people. Come on, my friend. And the only reason why he has done that is because he knows it's the only absolute truth. But he wouldn't waste time doing that if it wasn't. I have to go. Okay. My name is Hebrew. 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 Greg. Greg. Hebrew is not with Greg. No, no. Yeah, I'm on my way to a new. No, I'm not. When I talk about Greg, where you get paid? I don't. I don't know these guys. I'm on my way to a new. Greg, this. Right, I'm on my way to a new. Can I ask you a question? Yeah, can I no, yes, yes, no. Answer yes. this question, Hebrew. Hebrew. I just want to be clear, and you're not with Greg. No, no. You're just standing together for what? I get it. No, my friend, I saw the crowd rush in. I can't hear what you were saying. I don't know these people. I don't know nobody here. I listen to you, right? Yeah, yeah. Can I just speak? Of course, my friend. Thank you. Welcome. I appreciate it. Welcome. So, I just want to understand, Hebrews, as you're a Christian. Yes, yeah. trying to be a good one. Trying to be a good one. May Allah make you a good Muslim. Now, your answer to the clear contradiction is that the devil because he felt this was the truth, according to let me finish, and then you can pray. He manipulated the authors when they changed the language, and the devil brought these contradictions into the Bible. So this is the work of the devil that changed the Bible to bring these numeric contradictions. Yes. Interesting. Thank you. I don't so, believe that. Yes. 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 Hebrew. I appreciate your honesty. I understand, Greg. You don't appreciate them. He's not with me. I'm not with him. I'm not with him. Look, they're not married. They're not together. They don't have rings. I get it. Hebrew. I just my question. My question to you. It's okay, Hebrew. Listen. I believe you. My question to you is: If you know that the devil influenced the writers and brought changes in this Bible, how could you base your salvation on a because book changed I know the devil by the very devil? Well, because I know yeah. the devil very well. How and well I know, I know. <laughs> Apparently, really. Allah, Allah is not your problem. Okay, okay, okay. God is not our problem. God has always been on our side. If you don't know the enemy well enough, he will deceive you. I know him very well. I know you so that is why. So that is why I have taken time to understand why he's done that. And now that I know that, I have sifted my way through it and found the father myself through my sincerity and my motive, as I told you. Now. When Tyson, go, when, Tyson, when Tyson goes to fight an opponent, he watches his videos over and over again and studies him and gets to know his movements and stuff. <laughs> if you don't know the devil very well, my friend, he will take you to hell. Trust me. I know him very well. Speak, please, sir. Okay. Which one's talking? My name is. We're for it, everybody. 
Joseph Benjamin. Yeah. 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 Is the issue I know that he's not a king or is the issue that it's a recording of the ages um, that he was 42 or young? What is the issue? Because is the issue, was he a king, yes or no? There's something wrong in the Bible. No, no, let him answer my question. Thank you. No, Hebrew, you had your turn. Greg, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I want to ask you a question afterwards. Okay, I got you. Yeah. And I just want to be clear yeah. that these two Christians yeah. themselves do not agree on this answer. So the people don't attribute you to them. Yeah, they right? can't. Yeah. The issue is is this the preserved 100% word of God without any what error? What translation do you King James Version. All right, yeah, go on. If this <laughs> is the true word of God, then it cannot have a clear numeric contradiction. Because somebody cannot be 22 and 42. That means one of them is a lie. If I have, uh, I'm not going to ask your age. If you were 42, which yeah, you're not, you look much younger. All right. right? <laughs> and somebody said he's 22, That's, yeah. that would be a lie. Yeah. Because you're 42. And if you were 22, which would look okay. right. And somebody said you're 42, then that would be a lie. And the book of God has lies. I can bring, bring my. I and I accept your position. I can put my salvation. Oh, Thank you. Oh, you no, I accept your position, you. but I'm saying that is I asked you a specific question. Answer is the, the man's is, question is first. Is the issue the that he is not first. a king, or is the issue is the recording of the ages? Because you need to distinguish the two. No, 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 you first. need to answer that. No, 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 so no, no. it doesn't answer matter the to you. Question. Is the issue that he, the, he um, Josiah was not a king? Or is the issue is the recording of the ages? What is the issue? I'm going to answer this again. I don't think you have. So he said the issue was the recording of the ages that is contradicting in its life. That's what he's saying from the beginning. Answer the man's question. You're not with him, bro. Come on, man. Red, big, red now. Mm -hmm. Yes, red, yeah, cool. The issue is, cool. if there is a numeric contradiction about the age, <laughs> then that means it's not the word of God. Joseph Pandesi. The word of God is not lies or errors. And if the age was 22, then 42 is a lie. And if he was 42, then 22 is a lie. This is where, and if he was 42, then 22 no, is a lie. this is where you're wrong. Okay. You're, you, what you're saying, okay. that because the recording of the ages you must now dismiss that Josiah was not a king. I disagree I with you. I'm not talking you about him being a king. I'm, I'm saying to you that the, the recording. No, 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 this is good. This is good. Video. I don't care about the. Never, I, no, I'm saying I never. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Kingship was never in dispute. That's the issue. So I'm saying to you. So I'm not disagreeing with you. No, so so I'm saying to you. There is a merit contradiction. I don't have a problem with that. Hold on. Now my question. No, my question. No, hold on. Let me finish that. My question. I can't do that. In Isaiah 42, right, so you know, you the most uh, the, hold on, in Isaiah 42, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. in Isaiah 42, there are the children and the villages of Pede, is that true? Sure. Yeah, who are they? I have no idea. Are you, you Iman? Hold on, hold on, you're Iman and you don't know. Hold on, hold on, so, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, listen, the children of the villages of Kedah will be blessed by the lawgiver where is that? in Isaiah 42. Which, which is where? In Isaiah 42. Which is in the Bible? Yes. And I don't believe in the Bible. Alright, so hold on, 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 listen. I don't believe in the Bible. Hold on, listen. That me. But it doesn't, hold on. Who are they? Who are they, the children of Kedah? All oh, right, the children of Ishmael. All right, at Jesus' birth, at Jesus' birth, the children, the ch at, 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 at Jesus' birth, you have the children of the East coming to worship Jesus Christ at his, at his birth. Who are the children of the East? 
they are the same people. Are you to respond? Or yeah, go on. No, I'm going to tell, no, I'm gonna tell you why. I they are the not same. a question. This is a sermon. But I'm going to tell you who they are first, no, no, no. and you can deny. Let me, let me tell you the question. Go on, Nick. The man talks, man. Anything. Anything. Go on. Thank you. You haven't dealt with the man's question. And he's telling you you haven't dealt with the man's question. No, he hasn't dealt with mine. No, yes, yes. I've done this. I said there's a contradiction now. I did say that. Anything you bring me from this book, the Bible, I don't depend on. Let, let, let me right. tell you what. Let me tell you what. Yeah, fair enough. Because when I have so many clear contradictions, and according to Hebrew, the Satan deceived the people not writing you. in yeah. Hebrew, not you. Yeah. And according to you, there is a clear numeric contradiction. So that means people I don't know that the deceiver is busy, then you always spend your time. Now let him finish. 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 You're a really nice guy. I like this. Go on. No, 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 no. I want my question. Go on. Go on. So, when you have a book that has clear contradictions, I will not base my faith on any of it. Because I believe in a book, the Quran, that has no contradiction, that has no error. The devil will not deceive.